Well, this is the most serious fire defect since the old Ford Pinto. Since the Pinto, it's the most serious one. That's right. Uh, and w w but it's the same problem. A uh, gas tank is behind the rear axle, and in a rear impact, that gas tank can rupture. But the big difference is this is a family vehicle. There are kids in the back seat of these Jeeps, and the kids are being burned to death in child seats. I mean, this is a horrible defect. I want to read part of Chrysler's statement responding to this request for a recall. They say, quote, our analysis shows the incidents, which are the focus of this request, occur less than once for every million years of vehicle operation. This rate is similar to comparable vehicles produced and sold during the time in question. Is that not true? Is it not a relevant no, fact? It, it's, it's not true. Uh, the, the, the Jeeps are much worse than comparable vehicles. The Grand Cherokee alone is 20 times more likely to be involved in a fatal rear impact uh, than the Ford Explorer, and that's according to data submitted by Chrysler to the government. But if you look at, okay, so there's 2.7 million of them. Some of them have been out there for 10 years, 11 years, and we have, I don't mean to sound callous about it, but this is data, right? 44 deaths. Statistically, is that more significant than that same number of vehicles for any other kind? Yes, it is. It's much more significant for the Jeep than it is for other vehicles. But here's the thing. If you're in the wrong place at the wrong time in a Jeep, a low speed impact as low as 40 miles an hour into the rear can rupture that tank and it goes up in fire. You say because of the auto bailout of Chrysler a few years ago, Chrysler owes the American public a recall. Now, Chry Chrysler's defending this on the grounds that it costs too much. Well, the, it, it'll cost $300 million to do a recall, but Chrysler got $10 billion from the federal government in the bailout. So $10 billion is a lot more than $300 million, and we feel that Chrysler owes the government and the public a recall. So walk us through what happens next. They are refusing this recall, which is not unprecedented, but it is rare. What's the next step? The next step is for the government to hold a public hearing, make a final determination of a defect, and then take Chrysler to court if they still refuse. All right, Clarence Stittler, thank you so much. Uh, interesting, and we'll have you okay. back as this progresses. Thank you. Much appreciated. And if you have any questions for Chrysler about this recall, you can call the company at 1-877-426-5337.